Hey there, folks. I'm Zerfall. I'm All Dragon. And he has a lot of colony ships here floating around. They're trying to use meat shields. They're yeah. got civilians surrounding them. If you zoom in, you can kind of... It's actually they're in a ring around it. Yeah, which is hilarious. But uh, it's going to take a while to get through all of this because we're going to we're going to be blowing up all of those before we take on uh, before we can stop start bombarding the planet. Yeah. And then as far as things go for me. Um, in their last ditch effort to expand more, I guess they are sending a uh, little transport fleet over to Bovatir the third. So I'm going to have to protect it, <laughs> even though we're at war with them. Hopefully this one uh, 1.7k ship will be enough to take it out. Oh, yeah. I mean, transport ships... Do you know what's going to happen weapons, is they're going to so. build a new space station right outside their planet right as I get there and I start attacking them. I'm, I'm just uh, in in Bovatir? No, I shouldn't be able to. Oh, good. All right. It, it'll take lo longer. I mean, you've got, you've got a ship there already, so... Yeah. All right, I'm going to go ahead and unpause it. And I'm just going to go ahead and start invading Sorry about that. and stuff. You're forgiven. <laughs> Alright, so we won all those fights. Yes, can we go after this guy? Okay, here we oh. go. Going against uh, a 41k fleet up here. I have an asteroid coming in on one of my planets. <laughs> That's perfect timing. Alright, so let's search for... Zurgav... Difficult situation. Oh, it's real close. You could probably do it. I with do one. have a fortress right outside that planet. Also, the planet is the planet of some low it's just got an observation platform around it. If they can't if that station can't protect it, I don't give a damn. Okay. Those guys can it's I'm getting like three research a month out of it or something. It's not if anything, maybe the planet will be more habitable for me afterwards. So let's go ahead and unpause it. And well, hold go. on a second, just a second. Uh, oh. I have... Oh! I was going to say... Okay, okay. I, I... So I was... Uh, um, I noticed that there was a, a hostile fleet in one of your, your spaces. And uh, I clicked on it, and it's coming up as Samic Aliens. And I was like... Wait a second. This is weird, and I can I can investigate them. I I didn't get a notice about it. No, it's it's the uh, it's the asteroid <laughs> <It's> <laughs> yes. showing up as an alien vessel. Yeah. Well, where did where did asteroids even come from? Aliens. Is your fortress attacking it? I don't even know. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Well, that's too bad then, eh? That's really too bad for them because I do not have something near there to fight it with. Well, one one single. Um... Literally, all of my ships are uh, fleet engaged. engaged. <laughs> okay. In battles. Oh well, man, they sent a whole bunch of ships over here to protect their own thing. Well, I've got I've got a corvette that I can go send up there. Actually, I've got a couple. Well, I'm going to send this battleship now because. Engaged. Situation log updated. If I can remember where it is. They're defending it? The, 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 yeah, the, they've the, sent something to defend it. Which okay. is unfortuitous because it would have been a nice time to... Uh... Oh, they also sent in a... Oh, they already produced a star hive that they have to destroy as well. Uh, wow. It serves as a good distraction for them. I was not expecting that. Situation log updated. They built that... Yeah, they built it up uh, pretty quick. Wow, they sent all their fleets against that. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, and then they're just leaving now. They're probably coming after me somehow. Well, I'm actually kind of glad that they've ignored me while I've gone off against uh, the Prothoran. Really unluck unlucky that that the Prothorans uh, landed right behind the uh, um, 
Station under attack. Ah, oh, it's just a worker. Never mind. Station under attack. What? I just got the same message. Oh, maybe they're actually fighting it now. No, they're just under attack, but they're not shooting it. Station under attack. Cool, Station cool story. <laughs> oh no, that's them coming after Beetlejuice Secundus. And Ooh, my yeah, uh, they are blowing my my, my stuff up. Engaged. My fleet got distracted by uh, um, some star hives. So I've never actually seen what happens if you let the uh, um, asteroid hit. So we might we might find out. Well, my ship did show up. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. side jump drive. 37 you, you months away. You got the tech for that? Yeah, I did. Well, not yet, but I will soon. You suck. Hey, I you'll be able it. to research it faster. No, well, yeah, but I don't think I can get it. It has to show up. I probably need to... Uh, I don't know what, what the trigger is exactly, but it's... Station under attack. Uh, I think I, need, I would need a specific scientist, and even then there's just like a low chance that it would show up. So, do you know what they did? They warped in... Okay, let me pause this for a second to, to go over what just happened. So, it's weird. They warped in, destroyed my station, and then blew up the asteroid. Because <laughs> it was hostile. Because they were... Yeah, they were coming after my ship that I sent after it, right? Because that's who they were after, so that's why they yeah. flew so far into my space. And then they were just like, better blow up this asteroid, so then... It's like, oh, they'll never know what happened. They just think it was a little fizzly thing in the sky. Yeah. So I lost a, a battle, which is not the best, but uh, which You're lost a... me a leader. Holy but shit, there are Prith there's a Prithoran Scourge. Uh, sorry to interrupt you. But there's a Prithoran Scourge station inside the Zaplo homeworlds <laughs> space. It's like these guys are everywhere. Yeah, they're they're a scourge. They're a blight. Yeah, that's that's fair. I did manage to, with a science ship, research some of the debris of theirs, but it didn't do all that much for us. Yeah, you've, you've gotten most of the technology at this point, I think. Yeah. Uh, the good thing will be the uh, tachyon lances. Well, hopefully I get that soon. I suppose I should send these guys over here. I went ahead and unpaused it. That's fair enough. Well, about to lose a uh, station to uh, Prithoran Scourge fleet. Ooh, they are right in the middle of my space. That is not good. You gotta, you gotta take that planet, man. I'm working on it. They're busy destroying all the freaking infestors. Yeah, you're getting there. And there's only 5,000, 4,500 uh, hull points left. 2,000, 4,500. Oh. Oh, we just added a station. Yeah, there it goes. Lost a uh, fortress. Which, to be fair, means that I'm getting more uh, energy. The Empire of Dragonia is not doing so hot in this game. No, they are not. Look at all the debris in this system. Just right around this planet. It's just like this, this globe of... Uh, uh, oh, I. Ah, oh, my two. I lost two battleships to uh, Prithoran uh, Station. God damn it. What the hell are you guys doing? I'm gonna go build some more. Let's queue up a bunch more. Okay. Everything is done. We can start. Uh... We can start bombarding the infested world. You can do it. Here goes. Big question will be: Will this actually eliminate as I expect it to all the Prothoran stuff? At 500. Oh, I learned how 20, to... I got 10% tachyon lances. 140, 80, 20. Boom. Yep. They're all gone. No, don't engage them, you idiots. What are they're you doing? You're gone. almost back in orbit. No, they came after my transport fleet. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, I might be able to get down there. Mm, probably not very long. Oh, wait. Yeah, what no, has it... engaged your... 
Oh, yeah, there's a Wait, where 12K are you? fleet in Walzerin. They came into my space. Oh, okay. Because I was like, I'm going to go check this there. out. Because I was, I had a thing there, and I was like, nope, back off. And I backed off, but they, uh, instead of continuing to run, they uh, decided to fly directly at can you. Can you do a, uh, an emergency FTL? No, it's got 15 days left. I might be able to in the end. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm clicking it. I'm waiting. 13 days. Fleet Losing them. 10, course, 9... But... Eight, seven, six, five. Oh, hi, Void Cloud. Seriously? <laughs> Two, one. Go, go, go. Get out of here. Hostile fleet engaged. Pew. Okay, some of them got away. No, they went back to their space. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> that is not the way to run. <laughs> That's oh, hilarious. It's only one way well, to go. Okay. I've got a fleet coming after that, that specific... Uh... You gotta go here. Wait, so... Situation well, I got, I got them running away quick. So hopefully, they managed to get away. Okay, okay, now this could work. Nope, nope, nope. There's a fleet from the uh, Galactic Epothy Combine 10k that's coming up. Oh, I am I am capped on influence. I need to do something about that. Um, who is producing the most minerals right now? I seriously need a mineral-rich world. You seem to be. Production targets. There we go. Okay, you know what, guys? Come up here. Let's see if we can catch these two fleets. Ah, core sector systems plus one. We'll go with a uh, leader lifespan. Nope, they jumped out. All right, where to? Nope, they came back. Okay, they chased down my transport fleet, but it brought them into my 51k fleet. So, oh, that that's not should. Bad. Result in their deaths and not mine. Though I'm losing some ships from it. They're I'm going for a 12.8k fleet. Yeah, there were two 12.8ks here, and now they're both down to under two, it seems. I don't know. I can't see one of them. Situation log yeah, there we go. Okay, they did. Yeah, they did. Situation log updated. Okay, I have engaged them. They are definitely doing damage to me, but I'm doing more. Oh man, they're sending transport fleets around, and lucky for me, some uh, Benthal Mandate guys showed up. They're really weak, but they're strong enough to destroy some transport fleets. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, well, <laughs> um, there goes uh, the Apothe ships. They, ju they just jumped in right on top of a uh, uh, couple of the Euthonium fleets. I lost they one were, battleship. They lost 11. They were a useful, a useful uh, distraction. Oh, this planet has this starvation. They don't even know oh. how to run their own planets here. They'll be useful if I can catch these guys, but you no, have anyway. How does this AI assign its troops or their populations? They have somebody standing on an, a non-used, like it's a food, food tile. It has one food. They they're have not. starvation. And then they have a hydroponic farm right next to them that they're not using. They're they're not very good. They, they honestly, the uh, and that's somewhat intentional. They actually, uh, Paradox says that that's somewhat intentional, that they're not very efficient. I'll tell you what's going on here. I'm landing these armies. Incoming transmission. You know what? I might as well... Uh, star charts! I uh, agree. Ooh, who's giving you star charts? Give me. The Jackley. Their star charts aren't as big as they used to be. Oh, an invasion has begun. 
Yeah, oh yeah, they can't handle this xenomorph genetically modified titanic beast army. No, they really can't. The, the, the xenomorphs are pretty nice. I barely have any xenomorphs. It's... The gene warriors are actually much better, I think. Yeah. And then the titanic beast is... Uh, wow. he's, a, he's a beast of a man. <laughs> he's a titanic beast. Shoot, what you I couldn't even keep... I couldn't even manage to keep all my... Uh, troops on the surface there once I had it. Okay, so... Successful invasion. Let's see. Uh, I can disband some construction ships that I picked up from the uh, Tarasi here. Man, it feels so good to not have to deal with the goddamn uh, um, Thorans anymore. Damn, it feels good to be gangster. Oh, and you know what else I need to get rid of? I need to get rid of these stupid uh, wormhole portals. Ooh, what did the uh, disc do to uh, my, my friendly neighborhood? I don't know what they did. Can you keep them from taking Azul, Azuld, the second planet in Azuld, back? Where is Azlund? it? Aslund. They're sending a transport um, fleet to try to get it back. I can try. I don't know if you'll be able to get there fast enough. I take it this Cecil, uh, bleh. How do I know if something's their home world? It'll have the galactic. Their home world is Golba. Okay, that's where I am. Yeah, it's Celestial Throne. That's their home world. Yes. It has the mistake orbiting it. I love the mistake. Mistake is awesome. Yeah, they should have been more careful with that. <laughs> Yeah, their uh, their fleets are running away now. So I'm not sure where the hell they're going. Oh, they decided to send in the fifth armada, and now they're uh... <laughs> my my army is so oh, strong. This is, this is hilarious. So the the uh, um, the transport ships they're wiggling because I, I think they're trying to decide between. Landing what do I do? and leaving. Mm. And I also got some uh, debris, shield capacitors, hyper shields. Excellent. I'll take that. Uh, you guys can you can just go home for now then. And there go the transports. Fantastic. Perfect. We'll take care of this 12k fleet. Battlecruiser Hempist. That is quite hempy. So something that's interesting about uh, my army, how powerful my army is right now, even though they have tons of fortification, I'm not given the warning that I should not land. I'm still not doing it, but they're also not warning me about it. Hmm. Uh, I need to spend some... Um... Minerals? Uh, no, some influence, because uh, minor mandate fulfilled. I was not expecting that, and uh, influence gained 175. Um, I'm at 989 right now. <laughs> hmm. uh, let's see. Production targets, that's good. Let me just uh, go quickly do a few things. Uh, how about Spirit of Science? There yeah, we I've go. got an issue with minerals right now, so I'm just quickly upgrading every single uh, spaceport in existence, especially the ones that got destroyed. That is a good thing. That reminded me that uh, I had some uh, buildings to upgrade. I'm not having an issue with minerals, but I might as well get these things upgraded so I get more minerals. There we go. Took care of that fleet. I lost two battleships. What? Hostile fleet engaged where? Oh, crap. What? Uh, I forgot my... Uh, uh, transport fleet was uh, going to 
Sam Duran, and they just warped in a fleet on that. Mm. That's no good. Nope. Well, let's uh, go ahead and see if we can retreat. 20 days. Uh, I think I'm going to lose a lot of these. I'm sending in my fleet, but... Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Six days, five days, four days, three days, two days, one day, boom. Get out. All right, well, that was weird. <laughs> Go repair. Uh, where was I building those? So, yeah, I just attacked them with uh, 2,000 of their fortification remaining, mm -hmm. and none of my armies have taken more than an eighth damage, maybe? And they are about to lose. So we successfully Plushy. invaded their home world. Excellent. Yep, that brought us up to 52. And the scientist leveled up. Seemingly unrelatedly. <coughs> mm, pardon me. Construction complete. All right, how much uh, of my army did I lose? I think I was at like 32 and I'm down to 25 now. <laughs> All right. I forgot to embark my armies before moving the transport fleet. Whoops. <laughs> embark all. Like, why is this thing only worth 49? This makes no sense. Enter orbit. All right, I'll go back to uh, bombarding that, although it looks like um, there's another... Oh, well, actually. <laughs> uh, that's not going to go so well for you, uh, little Corvette, but that's fine. You have fun with that. He's going after an outpost. He's going to be destroyed. Oh, man, there's so many things in the system to research. Is it anything good, though? I don't know. Ships ships of some kind got destroyed here. <laughs> oh, capped out on influence again. I should really do something about this. I can't select my ship because there's so many situations from the situation log floating around it. <laughs> there we go. So Perquim 1 should become part of our... Uh... Oh, we're at 75% already. Nice. And we are ready to attack. And I think we're about down to lose to... another battleship. Invasion, invasion. The war guilds, the star knights, the death flocks, the Gnog Secundus Army 5. They have the least original name of all the uh, armies <laughs> invading right now. Yep, there goes a battleship. No, oh, poop. Enemy planet hey, hey, you just destroyed one of my battleships. You get back here. You sunk, sunk my, my battleship. battleship. <laughs> uh. no, seriously, guys, get back here. I want to. I want to murder you. Come on. Where are you going? Oh, geez, this happened again. Oh, no, that's the sign ship. Yes! Yes! Caught them! Debris analyzed. We'll Lost die now. Oh! Uh, oh, okay. You're, that's more than just your... Uh... Yeah. It's unfortunate the transport ships are there, though, but... Yeah. It seems like they're surviving without issue. Situation yeah, they're probably not targeting updated. them. Yeah, there's, so there's two of my transport ships that just happen to keep uh, not staying embarked on the planet. Oh, shoot. They sent something over here. Oh, it's just a transport ship. All 
All right, let's see if I can... No, don't go that way. Go this way. All right, well, there's uh, some Uthonium transports that I might be able to take care of. Looked like they were wiggling for a second. Yep, they're wiggling. I got them wiggling. Yes. Wiggle. Oh, this is great. Yeah, they're they're like set to move away from where I uh, put my uh, destination point for my uh, fleet. Mm. They're just wiggling b back and forth between it. No, don't stop wiggling. Don't stop wiggle wiggle. I will. There we go. Caught him. No, stop picking the freaking debris. <laughs> Oh, one of the nice things in uh, Leviathans is that it'll, it'll actually tell you what's in the debris. Oh. So you know whether it's worthwhile to research it. That's, that's pretty good, but at the same time, it's like, you technically shouldn't know what's there. I guess if you knew what type of ship it was when you blew it up, that makes sense. Well, I mean, I think part of it is uh, kind of a, a element of, you know... Just making it easier for the player a little bit. No, everything must be accurate. Uh... Alright, we're about to start invading another planet. Nice. Wait till about 1500 and then send them in. Boop. Because it takes them a little while to land and then uh, there are such weak armies that it doesn't matter. What are their armies like? Their damage is 1.5 to 3.15. Wow. And my guy's damage is... Uh, the lowest one I seem to have is 2 point something to 5. The best one is 13... 13.05 <laughs> to 26 damage per round. One's 18. <laughs> are these the defense armies or are these their actual attacking armies? No, these are the defense armies. Okay. Their, their yeah, attacking armies have all been destroyed. Still just 84%. Okay, so this time I will remember to embark all prior to sending these guys to the next planet. Apparently, my science ship is enough to keep their transport ship from trying to take this planet back, Research. which is fine <laughs> by me somehow. Hey, whatever works. And I just completed gravitational analysis. Three. Let's see. I am 10 months away from hyper shields. Ah, tachyon lances. That's Go a lot them. of months. But it's... you still keep getting the bonuses as it's going, right? What do you mean? So uh, as you research their uh, debris... Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but at the same time, if you're going to just con constantly research the debris, don't don't bother. It, it's not going to be worthwhile the, uh, the time spent. Spend it on something else. Because, you'll, you know, all you need is, is 10 uh, bits of debris that, ha that have tachyon lances in it, mm. and you've got it for free. Okay, well, maybe I'll just do UV lasers. since they're so good. All right, these guys. Oh, look who's sending their armies here now. They're like, hey, Zerf is sending a battleship here. I'll, I'll help take <laughs> over a planet. Debris analyzed. Oh, I should probably split. Oh, I, I lost a battleship to uh, a spaceport. Oh, come on. Oh, their spaceports have uh, tachyon lands. Oh, I ran out of right. energy somehow. Hmm. Oh. Interesting. Do you, do you need some? Uh, I do, but I also have a plan here. Uh, if I pause it and I talk to the Dishegemony, they're my friends. I will offer them a trade deal. You have some spare minerals? Yeah, I do. You looking for some? Income yeah, there you go. I just sent you a trade deal. Okay. 
confirm. Agree. All right, Thank I want to pause it. And their trade deal came in, and suddenly I've got a plethora of energy again. All right, well, I'm going to blockade a world which should get us up to 98%. All right, well, I'm about to... Uh... Oh, they already landed armies on it. They're idiots. Your guys' armies aren't as good as mine. I'm going to have to land mine right away as soon as I get there now. Well, I mean, if they if your allies lose... Oh, just capped out on influence again. You don't lose points for that, too? Well, I mean, I'm just... You know, it, it, it's... Not that big of a deal. What a uh, capacity overload. There we go. 99%. Boom. Best possible outcome. Hmm. All right. Very good. Very nice. A very nice. I like. Oh, I really like. Let's go take a look at uh, Celestial Throne. Gaia World. Ah. Oh. Look at it all. Now, well, you know, I mean, to be fair, they, uh, they're not a big fan of me right now. Recently conquered, minus 25%. And they're not a fan of the active study, native interference, but... Actually, I should probably... Uh, they probably don't, don't like slavery so much, so much, I should just enslave them. Yeah, you, you probably should, you know? Teach them, teach them the ways. Teach them the ways. I have too many systems now, by two. Yeah, I'm I'm four over. Yeah, well, eight of interference. What? Limited to passive study. Yeah, that's fine. What do I got around? Oh, well, actually, no, it's not. They'll they'll get over it. Why are you get, go work that? What do go, I got? What do I got? Go work that. Go work that. Go work that. You guys are dumb. What else do we have? Um, I mean, I'm probably just going to end up tossing all of this. Uh, oh, my lord. That is a lot of blockers. Probably just going to toss most of these into uh, a sector. These guys do all have arid preference. They are thrifty, sedentary, and rapid breeders. Mm-hmm, <laughs> as any Fallen Empire should be. Well, and uh, as uh, Arid Preference, it's, uh, it's pretty good, because I think I might have some Arid Worlds nearby. Or maybe not. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. some up there. Um, where you guys? Oh, I need you to build a spaceport. There we go. All right. Well, uh, it is about time to end the episode anyway. Okay. So let's go ahead and call it. Uh, do a little bit of maintenance before the next episode, and uh, we'll see you guys then. Bye.